Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer, and I just finished playing I.O. It's a physics-based 2D puzzle game by Gamius. The game started out as an OUYA title and was ported to Linux December 5th, 2014, with simultaneous releases on Mac and Windows. I.O. has an abstract, neon style. There are no distractions within this game. There's not a lot to say about the game's aesthetic. It's clean and simple and fluorescent. The background is left totally black. I feel like something more could have been done here. Some kind of subtle, ambient shader effect would have been nice. I particularly enjoy how the ball looks. The way the inner circle moves in the direction you press while the outer shell begins to roll. It reminds me of a hamster ball. The basic look of the game fits well with its mechanics. IO's gameplay is honed in on solving the litany of physics puzzles that are presented to you. Your goal is to get the ball to the green end zone. You have two main ways you control the ball. The direction it's moving, and its size. The larger the ball is, the more mass it seems to have, and vice versa. In certain levels, this affords for some great challenges and rewarding results. But let's just say that some puzzles are more inspired than others. Using momentum and the conservation of energy to your advantage is a must. Many of the puzzles require you to glide down a gentle slope as a large ball and then shrink yourself down to the smallest size possible and hope that you've aimed properly. You're able to climb up walls, launch yourself across the map, and navigate corkscrews easily with this unique control scheme. I'd like to take a moment and talk about the camera. It's directly tied to the size of the ball. When you're the smallest possible size, you can hardly see anything that's going on around you, let alone aim yourself halfway across the map. I wish the camera remained a fixed position from the puzzle. It'd make completing them a bit easier. IO requires a dual stick controller or a keyboard to play. I disliked the keyboard for this game as it just felt unnatural. I tried playing with the DualShock 4 and this is the result. So then I plugged in my 360 controller and I found it to be adequate. You use the left stick to control the direction of the ball and up and down on the right stick to shrink and grow your ball respectively. I don't think I've grasped the seemingly inverted right stick, especially since it works more like a button press cycling through each of the predetermined sizes. Many times I felt confused about the developer's intended solution to a puzzle. Many of the puzzles seemed as though I could just roll around and kind of brute force my way to a solution, rather than have to think about and plan my way to the exit. When it comes to puzzle games, this isn't really a feeling you want to invoke in the player. Though I will say that there are equally as many levels that require you to think about and solve them. They probably could have cut about one third of the puzzles and had a better and more even experience from it. I'd recommend IO to anyone who's a fan of physics sandboxes or puzzle games. It's available on Steam and Azura. Links are in the description. Have you played IO? What do you think of it? Be sure to tell me in the comments or on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my previous Ghost Control Incorporated review. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.